the metro is expanding. As Stockholm's population grows, maintaining an attractive and sustainable service throughout the Stockholm region is more important than ever. Disruption will be unavoidable as we build 20 kilometers of new track and 10 new stations, as well as a new depot for the parking, maintenance and repair of our trains. However, we are planning meticulously to ensure disruption to daily life will be kept to a minimum during the construction period. Construction of new track and stations causes various types of disruption, from projects above ground, from underground projects, and in traffic. Sound and noise are measured in decibels. Our goal is an average maximum level of 45 decibels indoors, which is the equivalent of a standard dishwasher. Despite our best efforts, that limit will be exceeded during some of the construction period and at various individual sites. We'll be adopting measures to limit the disturbance. Everything from walling off our equipment, switching to different working methods and offering temporary accommodation. Construction sites above ground will be needed when the new stations are built. All of the new track will be underground but tunnels will be required to move materials, equipment, workers and rock, as well as construction sites where these tunnels emerge above ground. Work above ground will periodically create noise in the surrounding area, so some houses and apartments may require window alterations. Drilling during tunnel construction will transmit vibrations through the rock, creating unavoidable structure-borne sound in the buildings above. This noise becomes louder the closer you are to the tunnel rock face and is dependent on the construction of the building and where within the building you are. Blasting generates short but loud noise and it may feel as though the building is shaking. We will offer residents the opportunity to receive notice before we carry out blasting. Some of the work does not make any noise above ground so decibel levels will vary. However, at some sites and during certain periods of construction, indoor noise levels will be so high that we will offer temporary accommodation during the day or alternative housing if required. Before tunnel construction begins, we will inspect all buildings that may be affected. Those buildings of cultural and historical value will receive an additional inspection to assess any protective measures that may be necessary. Most of the blasted rock will be removed by lorry, but we're planning both our schedules and routes in order to cause as little disruption as possible to surrounding areas. Traffic in the vicinity of building sites may occasionally need to be diverted during the construction period. The new metro lines will be built almost entirely separately from the existing ones. However, when the time comes to connect the new lines with the old, there will be unavoidable suspensions or reductions in the metro and a replacement bus service will be provided. Go to neotunnelbarnen.sll.se whenever you want to follow the progress of the construction, find up-to-date information, or learn what we are doing to ensure that those who live, work, or travel near our building sites can continue with their day-to-day -day lives. The new metro will tie the Stockholm region closer together and make life easier for all of us who live here, both now and in the future.